we've got a timer, we've got video, go ahead. Yeah. Golf is really fun to play, but in reality most anyone can play it, no matter what the age or size. Yes, there's professional golfers, but it doesn't really take a super amount of skill to play and have fun. Golf is mainly just a pastime for old retired people and other sport players like hockey that are just having fun after the season's over. Okay. Be it being created in the 15th century, golf has been a big part of our history. With even being found that other cultures, such as the Roman played a similar game in the 100, in 100 BC and to the 15th. It is for older gentlemen to be a sport that you can grow into, that you can age with, but it's still fun and still exercising. Yet it not be your body, but be your mind. And that, to me, is considered a sport. My first point is, if golf is a sport, then why wasn't it in the Olympics for some time? While golf will be an Olympic sport, was an Olympic sport at the 2016 Summer Olympics, it hadn't been an Olympic sport since 1904, prior to the decision to include it to Rio. Some speculation has been going around that only, the only reason golf has been added to the Summer Olympics, Summer Olympics is because it gets very popular and that it brings a lot of money to the aspect of it. My second point is that it lacks speed and tempo. Players play their shots and slowly make their way to the ball and play their next shot before proceeding to the next hole. The tempo rarely changes and to some extent the intensity of the game can be very dull at times. This aspect could be the reason why no, golfer events, no golfing events never ranks among the top ten viewing figures, while sports like rugby, baseball, and football do. Just because some say golf skill, golf takes skill, you need to realize that skill does not necessarily mean sport, and they do not necessarily mean the same thing. And also, it being called a game also does not make it a sport, because you can do things like video games and board games. Those are all games, but are they sports? My third point is the age and image of golfers. You need to take a look at some golfers to see. You don't have. You don't only need to take a look at a few golfers to see that they are not clearly in shape, and they are not at the peak of their physical conditioning. Golf is an event mainly played for fun and to pass the time. It is a mainly event for old old retired people that are usually out of shape and just playing it to have fun. My fourth point is that there is no physical aspect to it. In most sports like baseball, football, rugby, and hockey. Even volleyball, there are times where one player is trying to get under the, the skin of an opponent. In the game of golf, you can even play injured, which takes away why it shouldn't be classified as a sport, because sports like football and hockey, where contact is an as aspect, you cannot play injured, no questions asked. Golf was the first sport to let a woman play, being Mary Queen of Scots. I mean, I find that being such a great thing that it's the first sport to have a woman be able to play and we should just take that away. I don't believe in that. It, is, it was also banned with uh, European football in 1457, but that's still a sport today. And so should we ban golf in the same way as a sport, not as, like, should we take it away as a sport like they did in the past and even ban it? from being played by certain generations, or even, as well, it's a $7.5 billion industry, and we just want to take that money, which I think it was 45% gets taxed of that from, be it sponsors, be it players, all that money gets taxed going to the government. We want to take that away from not only the Canadian government, American government, or just throughout the world, we want to take that money away from their government to put it into something else that may not even help others. And yes, it is a sport that older gentlemen can play. And that's the reason why it needs to stay a sport. Because so you see a lot of sports such as hockey, such as football, such as even soccer, or American, or uh, European football. They have to retire by the time they're in their early 30s because of all the pain they suffered, all the, all the injuries that they concurred, all the concussions that happened to them, they have to retire by the age of around 35 because their bodies can't take it. Yet, golf, you can be playing until you're 80. There's a golfer right now in the 
National League who's 75 and he's still playing golf and he's still up in the top 30 people in the European Tour. There's mine. Uh, did you know that golf has, uh, of two as of 2014, golf nearly had 25 million people competing in different golf tours around the world, and we just want to deprive them of making their money that way. That's 20. That that would create a massive overflow, of not only losing money but losing uh, jo or losing jobs as well. Well, with that aspect, I think if you're playing golf, you can also you can hear in the mid 30s, early 40s. But they quit playing the actual sport to go play golf, which in my, in my feeling is just to have fun, so it shouldn't be really classified as sport. You know, as you said, it is for fun. Well, isn't hockey for fun? Isn't football for fun? Isn't soccer for fun? I mean, I consider all of those a very fun sport. And for golf, too, it's hard for them to get paid. Like, I, I consider golf a harder sport than most because you have to constantly be winning to even make a wage. Instead of being like in hockey or in football, where you're paid on a salary. I mean, if you have sponsors, yes, it's easier. But even hockey players in the junior league, when they get paid, like they get paid some if they're not going through college, they get paid a little. Yeah, but you also look at some famous golfers, such as Tiger Woods. What is his image? Cheating on his wife, get beat by his wife. And there's other golfers that have been known to be drunk and been smoking while they're golfing. And to me, that just takes it away from the sport. Well, I've been an avid follower of the PGA Tour, and as of 2003, you're not allowed to drink while playing on a PGA, uh, while playing on the PGA Tour. You're not allowed to drink while playing. Like, does that make sense, like, on the course? Yeah. And also, another thing is golf is, Golf is a game of imperfection. I think just the intensity of it, uh, it's very dull, in my opinion, compared to like other sports. And I just I just believe it's not as in intense enough to be a classified sport. Well, table tennis really isn't that intense either. Uh, how about this? Croquet. Croquet is not, that's considered a major sport because you're going for 13 hours, but I can't sit there and watch that for 20 minutes. Yet, golf is probably, I find golf even more intense than that. And yet, that can be seen as a sport ahead of golf. I don't know, in, in, my, in my feeling, I'd almost rather watch curling than golf. I mean, or but, paint, watch paint dry. <laughs> well, let's bring up another point. Yeah. Golf has been around in our history for so many centuries, since the 15th century. And that's just normal golf. We had different types before then too. The Romans played a type of game where you hit a leather ball with a stick attached to another stick. You pull it and hit it, and it was pretty much just like, uh, just like golf, really. Yeah, but again, does that make it a sport? What, what aspect? Of that makes Why, sport? if what aspect is that? Is its history? If we take away golf as a sport, we lose. Thousand, well, I shouldn't say that, but hundreds of people from history, from Sports History Hall of Fame. Do we want to take that step back in history? Another thing is, a lot of women, when they were first trying to vote, they used the example that women were able to play golf before any rule came in that women weren't allowed to. The, the, they used that image to show that they could be as good, if not better, than men in a sport that they mostly, uh, they mostly uh, prided in, they mostly were the best in, and yet we should take away all those good ideals just because it's not a sport? I don't know, I, just, just from taking away it being a sport, I don't think that really diminishes anything to do with women as a whole. I mean, it, we've, it's just like taking away someone's culture. If I were to go and say, okay, uh, then uh, for example, if I were to go away and say, okay, Christians aren't allowed to be Christian anymore, 
then it's just like the same exact. Oh, I guess I can't move that. Do you truly believe in golf as a sport? Honestly, that's your opinion, and I respect that. But the aspect of golf is considered an old people pastime. Golf can be played by anyone from four years old to ninety plus years old. Golf isn't a sport because it lacks intensity and entertainment. Golf is very boring to watch, in my opinion. And it's compared to like actual sports like hockey, baseball, etc., where they are exciting from start to finish. I I believe those should be sports, but in the end, it's just what I believe, and that's my opinion. In recent polls, thirty eight percent of Americans consider themselves to be golf fans. If you take that amount that, losing that sport, we learn we lose that 38% of people to go otherwise, which is fine. But as you said, it is such a like from a cultural sport where you can be nine to ninety to play it. What happens with those people who enter retirement age when they're good at golf? Unlike some sports where you have to save up golf, you can if you're doing good, you can spend some of your money because you're going to be making it throughout the 40, 50 years that you play it. As well as, even though it's not the most intense to watch, it is the most intense when you think about how with the stress the players have to go through. The stress that they have to go through when they hit the ball and they do something wrong. How hard it is to kick back from that compared to a hockey game. Losing a hockey game and fighting back for the next game is easier than when you take a shot and it hits the water. You have, to, you have to take all the mental skill you've got to hit that ball again. Because there have been players who cried on course because they lost. It is such a mental sport. It's not a physical sport, no. But through the men through the actual mental process of the sport, it should be considered. And that's my opinion.